Good morning, everyone. It is Vlogmas Day 5, and it's also Monday. That means the day has to start out with work. But before we get into that, uh, let's do the Tsum Tsum Advent Calendar. I think I'm going to start saving the chocolate advent calendar for the evening. So I have something to look forward to at the end of the day and also have chocolate at the end of the day and just do the Tsum Tsums to start the morning. Okay, so somehow we are on day five already. Oh, there it is. It's a big one. All right. Let's see. It looks like it's another little... Oh my goodness, that's adorable. It's a little ornament house. I'm guessing that Marie goes in there. Let's put her in. Oh my goodness. She's so cute in her little ornament. Love it. She's gonna be pals with Minnie. Something you guys haven't gotten to see yet is that we added these posters in our guest bedroom. So while Gainesville isn't my hometown, it is my nostalgic hometown. <laughs> so I've got Gainesville and then Mike is originally from Long Island, so he got New York City. And it's perfect because they're both the orange and it goes with the room, with orange and blue. Our gators and islanders colors, it's perfect. And Mets. So this is kind of our homage to our hometowns in our hearts and our favorite sports teams. So, for the record, the room was already orange when Mike bought the house, and it just kind of worked out that this is how we decorated it. So, instead of having to repaint, we just kind of worked with it. And now I actually really love it. So here is the final product. It kept getting cloudier and cloudier while I was filming that, so I was hoping it wasn't too dark for you guys to be able to see it. I think it turned out pretty darn cute. So now I have to fill it in. This is a pack from Planning World. I really like her packs except for the fact that she does so many stickers that I hate not using them. And then it's just like, whoo, stickers everywhere. <laughs> So the other exciting thing for any of the females who watch my channel is that I just got my only Cyber Monday purchase, which was Graveyard Girls Swamp Queen palette. It was on sale for, I think it was like $25. So I had to snag that because it's usually much more. If you aren't familiar, Graveyard Girl is actually a YouTuber and she got her own palette through Tarte. She actually lives in Texas and the Dickens Festival that I was talking about going to, the whole reason why I know it exists is because she went to it on her channel. So that was a, uh, I think Mike knew about it, but I didn't know about it until I saw it on her cha channel as I'm dropping the palette. So I'm excited because I think I'm gonna really like these colors. So here it is. You're gonna see yourselves in a second. Ah! But it says, believe in yourself, love yourself, embrace your individuality. And then here's the color. So it's got highlighter and bronzer in there too, and the eyeshadows. I'm excited to play with it and try it out. I definitely like these colors a lot. So when I went upstairs to work earlier, I realized that I forgot a few ornaments because they were sitting on my desk as decoration. Gotta add our new ornaments that we got during our May trip. Time to go on the tree. So it is still rainy and nasty, uh, but I'm out to go to the grocery store and Try to go to Petco and see if I can find Foster a dog sweater because he has been shivering so much lately. And God, they've got Ewok sweaters. I can make Foster into an Ewok or Chewbacca. It's so tempting. Two options. I'm trying to debate between these two. Some other Christmas stuff out, so I'm like looking at toys for the boys. There's stockings. So much stuff. There are so many Christmas candies at the grocery store. Oh my goodness. And the Lion King, apparently. <laughs> oh my gosh, so much stuff. 
<sighs> I think I need some candy canes. And I'm also disappointed because they were out of the Little Debbie Christmas tree cakes, which if you were part of my Vlogmas last year, then you know that that is part of my family tradition with my grandpa. So I will have to search for Christmas tree cakes somewhere else on another day. Master. <laughs> He's been doing good. He's just been prancing around with it on. I'm trying to decide if I think it's too tight for him. He's right at the, okay, by no means is Foster a large dog, but according to their measurements, he should be an extra large. So this is a large, but because of the way his body shape is, he's got a really large chest. So I was worried about being too tight right here. But I can't imagine you being an extra large dog. Ash is an extra large dog. You're technically really a medium dog. You're not even a large dog. You're a medium dog. But they're trying to fat shame you into an extra large little bean. I don't think it's too tight. I think it's good. You seem to be okay about it. When I tried to put Rory on sweater, she turned bucking Bronco on me and like tried to run around in circles to get it off. You seem pretty good. It's also food time. Are you hungry? Oh God, I'm being attacked. I think that's what's uh, happening right now. It doesn't matter what I do. Are you hungry? It is after 5 p.m. Oh, is my bean hungry? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, are you hungry? Are you hungry in your sweater? All right. Let's have some dinner, boy. Oh my gosh. I think the final result is that we think it's a little too tight for the bean. So we're going to try. Up. Okay, I'm holding up. We have a Navajo dog sweater. A Navajo dog sweater. Oh god, I love it. I figured you'd be on board. I love it. Chili dog Navajo sweater. They only make a mix out though, so. Duh. I'm going back by there tomorrow anyway. So, in that area, because I'm going to the Hallmark store. So I'm going to do Hallmark and look for a new sweater for him tomorrow, I think is the plan. But for now, it's time to make din din. In the white skillet lasagna with butternut squash and Tuscan kale. And if you watch the Disney Double Doses Vlogmas, I think they made this yesterday, so it might look familiar. So I've got the shallots, the garlic, and the kale in the pan going first. And the kale just needs to wilt down at this point. And then in here, the butternut squash is roasting. Okay guys, so this one got really labor intensive. <laughs> so I had to make a bechamel, so I couldn't really film and make a bechamel. So I just went ahead and assembled the lasagna and now it's going to bake. Oh my goodness, dog. Oh, the side eye. Wow. Oh my goodness. That's gonna be so yummy. I'm excited. So here's the end result. This is how much of a serving you get. This is literally half of the lasagna. So this is what we talk about. They're not little servings, which is great because I haven't eaten today aside from a handful of nuts that I ate while I was like waiting for that to finish. So I'm starving. There's Mike's. And I am so excited, it smells so good. And the other cool thing I found in the store today was this spiced latte creamer. I'm hoping it tastes something like gingerbread since Starbucks only carries my gingerbread lattes at Target this year. So here's the downside of changing up my routine is I just started getting all cozy on the sofa to start editing today's Vlogmas and I forgot to do the chocolate advent calendar. <sighs> Mess my whole... Because I decided earlier today that I was going to do the Tsum Tsum in the morning and the chocolate at night. It's scheduled chocolate consumption. I know. How? How did I forget that? 
That is a very valid question, Mike. Very, very valid. So let's see what we have. Number five. Number five. Yay, one of these squares. I was hoping for one of the red ones. I haven't had one of those yet, so I was hoping for that. But this is also delicious. So Mike and I will share this as our little after dinner treat. Mike is in here playing Rocket League. Oh, hello. Uh, I brought you chocolate. Did you? Mm-hmm. Nom. Nom nom. <laughs> Don't miss your game. You better play. I'm gonna buy chocolate. That's quite the car you got going on right now. You like that? Yeah, I like it. I like the crown. Could be a little more festive though. And the snake skin. Yeah, you need some garland or something. They don't have the Christmas to that till the seventh. Oh, come on. Well, two days. You'll get there. So this is what's happening. Mike's uh, Mike's ending his day with a little Rocket League. I'm probably going to watch some Real Housewives because <laughs> what we do in the evenings. And uh, I think that's gonna be it for Vlogmas Day Five. I'll see you guys again tomorrow. Bye. <laughs>